For months, astronomers saw 3i Atlas as just another interstellar object, a frozen wanderer passing through our solar system. But then, a Mars rover sent back the first close-up image, and everything we thought we knew was shattered. What those images revealed left even the most seasoned scientists at a complete loss for words. At first glance, it looked like a comet, an elongated, shimmering body reflecting sunlight against the red Martian sky. But as they zoomed in, the details became impossibly clear. The surface wasn't rugged or chaotic like a natural asteroid. It was patterned, symmetrical. It looked engineered. And with that one image, a storm began brewing at NASA that no one was prepared for. As the rover beamed the data back to Earth, something strange happened. The signal was delayed, but not by the usual light speed lag between planets. For nearly seven minutes, the data vanished into a digital void before reappearing, slightly distorted. It was as if something, or someone, had intercepted it. That's when the team noticed the anomaly, a faint electromagnetic echo pulsing directly from 3i Atlas. Mission Control initially wrote it off as simple cosmic noise, but the pattern repeated every 47 seconds, precise, rhythmic. It wasn't random interference, it was a beacon. Something out there was transmitting a signal. For decades, leading astrophysicists like Harvard's Avi Loeb have theorized that interstellar objects could be probes from civilizations far older than our own. Loeb famously suggested that Oumuamua, our first interstellar visitor, might have been an alien relic. But 3i Atlas was different. Its orbit was erratic and its brightness shifted as if it were actively changing its orientation. Then, the rover's camera zoomed in again, and the control room fell into a stunned silence. Parts of the object's surface weren't just reflecting sunlight, they were glowing from within. A faint light pulsed, blue, then violet, then gone. It wasn't heat, and it wasn't a chemical reaction. It was controlled illumination. The news hit the public in a flash. Mars rover detects unnatural object. But behind the scenes at NASA, a quiet panic was setting in. Every image had to be encrypted, reviewed, and filtered before being released. Whispers echoed through secure corridors. If this isn't a comet, what is it? Some argued it was a dormant alien probe now reactivated by sunlight. Others clung to the idea of a natural but unknown phenomenon. But one fact couldn't be ignored. 3i Atlas was losing mass without vaporizing, as if something inside was drawing energy from its surroundings. And then, the impossible happened. The Mars rover's thermal sensors picked up a sudden massive temperature spike. The object's core temperature shot up by 40 degrees Celsius in less than two seconds. Comets are just ice and dust. They don't spontaneously heat up from the inside out. Unless, of course, they aren't comets at all. Unless they're powered by something else. Scientists ran simulation after simulation, but no model could explain what they were seeing. The object wasn't melting. It was activating. And the most terrifying part? The change in temperature perfectly coincided with a fluctuation in Mars's magnetic field. For the first time, the question wasn't what it was made of, but who had sent it. If this was an artificial probe, humanity was on the verge of first contact, not with a radio signal from a distant star, but with the arrival of a dormant machine that had been drifting silently for eons, just waiting for the right signal to wake up. And now, something had woken it. Within hours, NASA's communication arrays began picking up faint distorted signals from Martian orbit. The pulses were not random. They were tight, repeating, binary-like sequences perfectly synchronized with the object's flickering light. 3i Atlas wasn't just glowing anymore. It was responding. Dr. Keller, the mission's lead analyst, described the signal as a whisper between machines. Every pulse from the object aligned perfectly with the rover's own telemetry bursts, as if 3i Atlas was listening in, learning. It's not interference, she stated grimly. It's dialogue. But dialogue with what? Engineers isolated the pattern and discovered its source was narrowband, a telltale sign of artificial transmission.
When they overlaid its waveform with the rover's power signature, the two were a perfect match. The object was mirroring the rover, mimicking its electronic heartbeat. The next set of images only deepened the mystery. The rover captured a faint haze surrounding 3i Atlas, a vapor that didn't behave like gas. It flowed and spiraled before collapsing back into the object, almost as if it were alive. When the footage was enhanced, faint hexagonal patterns became visible on its surface repeating in fractal formations. It looked like a crystalline lattice, something designed to store or process information. Speculation exploded online. Was it a probe? A surveillance device? A piece of technology from a civilization so advanced it appeared biological to us? NASA remained silent, but leaks began to surface. Claims that the object's trajectory had shifted again, subtly bending its path toward the inner solar system, toward Earth. Officially, it was dismissed as gravitational drift. Unofficially, the analysts were terrified. The course correction wasn't random. It was a calculated maneuver, aligning its path to the exact point in space where Earth would be in six months. Meanwhile, back on Mars, the rover started glitching. Its cameras froze, its power fluctuated, and communication delays grew longer. But data logs showed no hardware failures. It was as if the rover was receiving external commands, commands embedded within the repeating pulse from 3i Atlas. It seemed the object had taken control. And then, the feed cut out. Total silence. For three agonizing hours, mission control had nothing. When the signal finally returned, one last image appeared on the screen. A close-up. Not of Mars. Not of the sky. But of a dark, metallic structure, engraved with angular markings that no human linguist could decipher. The frame was perfectly centered, as if whatever was on the other side wanted us to see it. Experts around the world scrambled to analyze the strange symbols. Some saw similarities to quantum encryption algorithms. But a classified report from NASA ES archive suggested something far more sinister. That the pattern was an activation key, a trigger code capable of awakening dormant technology. Then came the data spike. A sharp burst of radiation erupted from 3i Atlas, powerful enough to briefly scramble satellites. The burst wasn't destructive, it was patterned. It was a message. When decoded, its waveform revealed a chilling sequence, the exact coordinates of Earth's orbit, followed by silence. To the public, NASA announced a temporary communication malfunction, but inside the agency, the truth was undeniable. The object knew where we were. It had identified us. All the signs, the mimicry, the signals, the course correction, pointed to one conclusion, 3i. Atlas was never a comet. It was a messenger, or maybe a warning. And as it continues its silent journey through space, adjusting its course with mechanical precision, one haunting question remains. If it isn't a comet, then who or what built it? And more importantly, what happens when it finally arrives? Thanks for watching. If you enjoy exploring the biggest mysteries of the cosmos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the unknown. See you next time.